everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's mariah aka right baby how you doing um so what i'm going to be doing is putting half up half down i want the top half to be red and the bottom half to be black so what you're going to need is two l'oreal high colors for reds only 40 volume developer two black dyes um, i'm using this box dye and then you need some shampoo as well as some conditioner and a mixing bowl and a mixing brush Make sure you're reading your instructions, guys. Um, I believe the box said two parts developer to one part um, hair dye. So I'm just pouring in my developer and then I'm going to cut the bottom of the hair dye to get out the most of the dye. And then I'm just going to be squeezing that out and mixing it in with a developer. You want to make sure that you're getting out all of the hair dye because this stuff is not cheap so just make sure you're squeezing out all of the dye with this specific l'oreal high color the color did come separately so you want to make sure that you squeeze that whole tube into this mixture as well and then stir it up I am adding in a little bit of this Adore Intense Red. It didn't really make a difference in my opinion, but I wanted to add a little bit of that and then um, a little bit of the Pumpkin Patch color as well. Now I'm just going to let that sit to the side while I get the black hair dye mixture ready. This one is a lot simpler because all you have to do is put in the different parts, put part one in, shake it, and then part three is the conditioner. So this one was really easy. So you just want to make sure that you're squeezing in, pop the cap, <laughs> because I didn't. <clears throat> you want to make sure you're squeezing that in and you have to shake it up really, really well. So I'm going to be working on the top half first and then the bottom half. Going in, I did not put anything on the lace. There's no gas to be, there's no Vaseline or anything. I'm just being really careful. Um, but this can really be put on any type of way. It doesn't have to be specific. As you can see, I'm just really slapping it on there. Um, the only thing you want to make sure that you're careful of is to not get dye on the lace. As long as you don't get dye on the lace, you can apply it however you want. With your hands, with the brush, with a spoon, anything.
is done I did cover it with a plastic bag and then what you want to do is move on to the bottom section and I'm just going to be squirting the hair I mean yeah squirting the hair with the dye um, this is also no method needed you can really just apply it however you want just make sure you saturate all of the hair I would recommend working fast with this hair dye um, just because you know it takes pretty fast so you don't want to have any spotty sections so I would just say to work pretty quickly and make sure you're covering all of the hair So I did let the hair sit for a few hours and I was checking it uh, periodically. So once I was happy with the result, I decided to wash the hair. You want to make sure that you wash it in sections. So keep the plastic bag on whatever section that you're not washing because you don't want black hair dye to get on the red hair and you don't want the red hair dye to get on the black hair. The goal is to get the hair to run clear. Once you do the, once you do that, you can move on to shampooing the hair. This is how the hair turned out you guys uh, I did curl in this whole look is from another video so if you see me looking like this in another video that's what that's from but yeah the two-tone came out really really nice I actually had to dye this hair three times though um, so I ain't even gonna lie to y'all like I showed y'all the two the two times I dyed it but I just dyed it yesterday again 
not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Doesn't matter because you don't know what day this is. But I just re dyed it again and I put an intense red Adore, the Adore Intense Red on it. Mixed it up with a little bit of that pumpkin patch color that I showed y'all in the beginning. And this is what I got as the final look. I did the third time just because it wasn't vibrant enough for me. Like it just, it wasn't there. And that's really a shame. So if I would, my suggestion would be to uh, like bleach it first and then use the red dye so that you don't got to do all of this because this was a process. But it's still super cute. Like I, I'm, I'm loving it, y'all. Like it looks, it looks so bomb. Like I'm loving the red and the black. I didn't even think I would. I don't know why I did this, but it was, it's so cute. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you know when I post new videos, that will be clicking the bell icon. But yeah, uh, click the bell icon too and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.